hello guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to talk about a very sensitive topic and if for someone who is uh, in the job market i would highly recommend to uh, listen to this topic uh, so this topic is about the job market uh, currently it's not good right it's in fact very very bad i was uh, i was going through an article which was uh, was talking about the situation job market situation currently in 2025 and most of the things i came across in that article uh, are negative right it's not something that will uh, encourage uh, the young um, aspiring job uh, aspiring candidates for jobs right so i thought of making a video on this because simply because i've gone through such uh, a, a situation or in my career early in my career so i thought of talking a bit about that because it's a very sensitive topic many people are a bit depressed because there's simply not many jobs for fresh candidates not just fresh candidates i would say even there are simply no jobs even for experienced candidates in many many areas right um i mean there is no doubt that it's it's an insanely bad job market i would even say it is the worst job market after the 2008 financial crisis so in the last 20 well 15 years is the worst time to be in the job market i mean it's worse even than the covid time the covid time i mean the job market was a bit bad for 6 months and then it recovered dramatically after about 6 to 8 months time right and in fact uh, there are more jobs than the applicants uh, in some fields in 2021 right after uh, the news of vaccines and so on but for the last two years after the the war the russia ukraine war and the inflation crisis i think things are very very bad now right we haven't seen uh, many jobs out there in fact many companies are laying off tech companies have been laying off from last 3 years already banks more recently i think jp morgan uh laid off quite a number of people many consulting firms are laying off you know you don't hear that consulting firms are really good at it but many consulting firms are simply not hiring and they're laying off people all the other reason is because of the ai and because the productivity increase because of the ai but i don't think that is the main reason maybe in the tech world that's true but in other sectors such as banking consulting and such sector i don't think ai is replacing human beings not just yet i would say maybe in in few years time certainly not now so what's the reason and how to sort of tackle such a you know scenario right if you are someone who is in the job market you're looking for a job you're just out of university and um, you, you are not bit first of all you are not the only one who is in who is facing this situation there are many others like you who are also in the same boat and they're also finding it very hard to find uh, opportunities and uh, so uh, first thing is is that uh, having a negative mentality doesn't help okay so you're not the only one ha- you have to have to have patience it's impossible that you know job scenario will remain like this forever this probably for a very long time now it's been already 2 years actually in in 2008 actually the, the recovery happened after 2 years by 2011 i think the second half of 2010 job market improved but that doesn't seem to be the case this time around because even in the first quarter of 2025 i see the job situation is not very good right so for fresh out of university guys i would say doing intensive just keeping yourself busy is very important and uh, you don't don't have to be very choosy when you choose a job i think it's good to just do something uh, it's very important to also learn skills in whatever ways either through intensive either working full time or doing courses and learning on your own doing side projects very important if you're struggling financially that's a much bigger problem i would say in that case i think take up just any job i would say there are many jobs out there including some jobs which are not white collar jobs which are probably not the area, the jobs you want to do for a long time but for survival there's nothing wrong working on anything i have done that i have uh, i have 
you know, given private tuition, something I didn't want to do for, for a living for my entire life. But I did have to do for, for a survival for a few years. So for survival, if you are facing money problem, I think you should do whatever um, it takes to make some money. And then once the situation becomes better, you can always find a better job, right? Uh, having a gap year is not a problem. Uh, and in many countries, people simply give unnecessary value to that. Having one year, two years of gap after studies is not a bad thing on your CV. Not always. I mean, if you have five, six years of gap, that's indeed a problem. Uh, at least considered a problem. But uh, but if I have right reasons, and especially in times like this, nobody will question that because I think most hiring managers, unless they're not very sensitive, they're not uh, very knowledgeable about what's going on. Uh, most hiring managers won't be bothered about uh, b about having a couple of years of gap. Right. Um, reaching out to people always helps. If you can reach out to people for work, that's extremely important and very good. Your chances of getting a job is also better if you reach out to people and not waiting for a headhunter to reach out to you. Having a good network, very important. Uh, being a bit more active on LinkedIn is good. Not, not that I'm saying you should be always there, always active, but uh, just keeping an eye on what's going on in the market. And because sometimes people post directly on, on LinkedIn and the traditional way of hiring people has now changed a bit. So it's good to therefore whether you like it or not, be active on LinkedIn. Um, if you want to start a company or start a small business, I think it's also pretty good. I mean, it's not for everyone for sure. But if it's something that you want to do, this is also a good time. Simply because if you don't have a job, readily available job, then it's good to start something. And it could be very small, right? Starting a YouTube channel, starting a blog, uh, you know, developing an app, or starting a small uh, uh, offline business. You may not do that forever, but it's nothing wrong in doing that for, let's say, uh, one year or two years time. And if things really work, then you could continue that uh, and make a full time living out of it. But uh, that's something you can decide maybe later on, but nothing, you don't lose anything by just starting something. So these are some of the things to keep in mind, but more than anything, keeping yourself busy is very important just to be mentally healthy. Uh, going out and exercising, taking care of yourself, uh, leading a healthy life is very important. Reaching out to people and uh, it's very important to also connect with people, have a very positive mentality, learning something new and it's, it's very important. Uh, you have negative thoughts, right, from all sides, especially in the times that we live in with social media. You have negative thoughts coming from all sides, uh, from politics, from you know all kinds of areas but don't this these are all distractions don't worry about these distractions um yeah they they will fade away once the scenario becomes better when will the things uh, be better i expect that to be somewhere in the second half of this year because the interest rate simply cannot be that high for many many years uh, so uh, that's unsustainable uh, in a long time. I mean, historically, well, we have had scenarios where there were, but I think in the modern times, it's not that sustainable. I would say the interest rate will be better. I think geopolitical situation will remain so f bit fragile, I would say. Uh, but as sooner or later, the profitability aspect will, will be better. So uh, um, in the second half of this year, maybe in, in the first half next year, things are likely to be better uh, and the job market will eventually then, uh, you know, react to that and there will be more hiring and so on. And there obviously will be people who will be leaving the jobs, right? So there will be many people who are retiring from jobs, so there will be new openings, especially in some countries, but, but obviously in growing countries like India or the emerging countries, you don't have many retirees because a lot of folks just started 20 years back, they're in the mid 40s, 50s, but in mature markets such as in Europe and US, there will be people who will be retiring in the next few years and there will be obviously some openings. 
the role of ai i'm still not i'm not expert an expert so i can't predict what's going to happen but it's certainly not going to take away all the jobs uh, at least not for now and the governments will obviously not allow that either that's something i want to share with you if you have questions comments let me know if you're feeling a bit bad about not having a job after education i would say don't be too harsh on yourself you're not the only one who's struggling there are many others it's not you're not struggling just because of you your own mistakes you probably are blaming you yourself for a number of things but you are not the culprit it's the environment it's the job environment that is bad there's nothing wrong with you okay thanks guys and any questions let me know in the comment section